Three Points TV, myself, the T's. We got Marty, we're here with the Mighty Marks, man. And Alex, what's happening? Hey. He's back again, he's back again. And I predicted the game today, 4-1. There you go, there it's you go. It's not the right goal scorer. He did actually call it, to be fair. I called 3-0 Havertz to score, cashed out of 3-0, and then he calls 4-1, but Martinelli to score. So when Martinelli went off, the crumble was fortunate. <laughs> Tell us about your thoughts or feelings going into the game. So, I, I, knew, I, knew, I knew we were going to win the game. We haven't scored a goal here for the last 11 years, which is a, is a long time. Yeah. It's a really long time to um, to not score a place. And, you know, Carrier's in goal, they never really... I don't, I don't think he's that good a goalkeeper, if I'm honest with you. Um, and we were scintillating, we were absolutely sublime, the football that we played and how we played it, and it, at, at, at times we were just completely unplayable. Um, you know, teams are coming here now, and this is a fortress, we're absolutely demolishing teams. We absolutely took them apart, took them to the cleaners. It could have been five or six. It was a it could, it could, win, wasn't it? Yeah, that was a devastating performance to a team. Listen, they're 20-odd points behind us, but... You know, don't forget it's a contentious game in Newcastle uh, early yeah, on in the season. Yeah, the and it, it, it was a tight game. Obviously, that was at their place. Uh, and here is a different story. And, and the Emirates is very, very, very quickly and has been for a while. That fortress that teams don't want to come in. Where is it? Is it four games? It's got, I think, 18 goals in four games, which is uh, crazy. a serious amount of goals. I'll tell you what, the build up going into it like, like it was a Champions League final or something that, yeah, yeah. Well, that was all to get obviously that was to get, get the yeah, it's nice to give all the flags out that was beautiful. and the scarves as well I mean, yeah, we didn't get any scarves we didn't get any scarves it would have been nice if we had one but um, could have it was, three pride now wouldn't it could have, yeah. could have had something but um, yeah it was look, it was a fantastic game it was an awesome performance Declan Rice as, as always turns up I love what happens at the back with uh, Saliba and Ben White Probably, probably Declan Rice because of such a consistent performance. But for me, Kai Havertz scoring that second goal was the vital goal which turned the tie. Because right. that's at that part of the game. But he had a sit up. He okay, had a listen. Sit up. And that was the beginning this, of the this is the, this is the problem that I have with Arsenal fans with Kai Havertz. Is that will get picked out. That sit up that he missed will get picked out. Not the the goal at one 0 We go. We score that second goal and that puts that tie. This puts that game basically completely firmly in our hands, and then we go on to get three and four. But missing that sitter, I don't think was a. If he had missed it at two nil or one nil, and he misses that, then then it could it could have maybe potentially changed. But listen, he he, he scored well. I, I like him playing alongside Martinelli and Saka in the middle. I think you know everyone's calling for buying this ninety million pound number nine and this you know this player, and I think we've got one in Kai Havertz. Is that sort of player. Listen, I do think in the summer that is the time to buy it, and I think we will buy someone. But we've got options up front. When you look at that front line of Jesus, you've got Havertz, you've got Saka, you've got Martinelli, you've got uh, Trossard, you've got serious you options, uh, you know, and you've got Nketiah, and you've got Nelson, you've got serious options, and you know, players that can hurt the team. And who's the youngster as well that come on the, uh, off the bench? Oh, yeah, 16 year old, yeah, Ranieri. Yeah. What's the name? Ranieri. Ranieri, yeah. 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 He looks like a it's, 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 look, we, we are a team in form, we're playing well, we're dominating, we're devastating and we're scintillating. And, uh, and, and there's nothing man's anyone got, can say. Man's got bars. Yeah, man's got bars. <laughs> and, 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 and there's nothing anyone can say. And any team that comes here and thinks they're going to have it easy, one of them days, mate, we are, you know, we are putting teams to bed. And convincingly, like, we, we, we're ruthless. We are now, listen, before that, before that divide break, everyone was talking about, oh, you know, you know the number nine and, and after and the play, Champions League yeah, game as well. And that's it. I'm playing for open play, but 18 goals in four games tells a very, very uh, dominating story. Also, at this time uh, this year, we've conceded 22 goals as opposed to last year 33 goals, which I think is says a lot about what we're doing at the back. For me, again, Newcastle came out of parts in the second half. And they could have scored another one, or, or maybe made, made the game a bit tighter. And, 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 and the Arsenal team of last season, it would have been a bit tighter. And, but you know, four ones convincing result is fantastic, and that's what nights under the lights like this like at the Emirates. Where do you see us going in 
in terms of like, the game against Brentford, we've got Brentford. Listen, I, I would say if, if, if Brentford don't get absolutely demolished, I'd be very surprised. Do you think they'll make it tough? Listen, if we turn up, it's not, they, if we turn up and we play our best football, we can beat any team in the world. And that's not just saying that as an answer. Uh, you know, right, we, 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 we can, we can, we can beat any team in the world. But if we don't turn up, we can get beaten by teams. And we've seen that we can let Leeds slip. And we, we, well, not so much. We've seen it like Porto, ultimate smash and grab the other night. We did put them to bed. We did score the goals, and, and they came in the last minute, nicked a goal in perfect fashion, and they come to this time. So fair play and well done, and that's my, that's this is naivety, maybe experience. I think this team with a bit more experience, that hopefully they'll learn from that and they'll realise why. You know, we, we, you know, at points in the game we need to be more ruthless. This team has got quality all over. It's absolutely fantastic team. The players are phenomenal. For me, Jorginho as well. I would put him as a, a potential for man of the match. Yes. He was pulling yes. all the strings. He was absolutely sensational. Brilliant. And he was he, his his footwork was just out as well. Uh, he's, and he's good. He's great for the morale as well. He, he, he is. Like he's having he's having a manager on the pitch. The way he commands. He, he, you know, he pulls the strings. He tells people where to go, and you know, and dominates his his, his second class, first class, from the first class. Uh, so yeah. Uh, excellent stuff, Marty, man. Appreciate that. Um, Alex, you wanna add anything to that? Like, it's great to have you back. No, I'm all right. <laughs> uh, got nothing to say today. Yeah, all right. He's a little bit, a little bit upset about what you, you know, what you missed there, eh? like. Put a little bit on, you know. <laughs> well, obviously, uh, yeah, it was great to come back to watch a game live again. Um, I knew we was going to dominate the game, hence the prediction at the start of the game. And yeah, Arsenal went in there, uh, had them under pressure from yeah. the get-go. Um, Pretty comfortable. Yeah, very comfortable. comfortable. Very comfortable game. And um, um, I didn't see one shot made on target in the first half. Um, obviously, in the second half. Um, Newcastle changed their tactics yeah, around yeah, yeah. and then um, yeah they, they got a couple of attempts on goal we got our third they took off Martinelli and then obviously that led to um, us scoring another goal um, and then making it was it 4? was it 4-1? yeah it was 4-0 and then and then they got their last goal they got their last yeah. goal um, but yeah, it was a, a dominant performance today, um, and yeah, I couldn't ask for anything more from them. Fantastic, yeah. Alex. Yeah, big up for that. Good Thanks to see you, you again, Marty. As always, man. Don Colleoni. And uh, listen, man. Big up all the viewers. Remember to like, share, and subscribe. We will see you back on the next one. T signing off. Marty signing off. And Alex. See you later, Peace man. out. Peace. Come on, peeps. Who are you waiting for? Like. Share, subscribe to the free pointers.